Hi guys and welcome to another video. So let's continue with our uh, series. Okay, uh, we're gonna go now and create another type, another type of application. Let's go with creating a new application. Okay, I'm gonna call it a stopwatch. Let's go to a simple stopwatch. This is going to be very useful if you guys are trying to get something like this and we're gonna, uh, we're gonna have to create the interface a very simple interface I'm gonna go uh, faster now the last video was quite long and it shouldn't be that long okay uh, you guys could see that we ne don't necessarily did nothing that was quite different so let's go with the time let's go with hours minutes seconds and my sec my seconds okay so this is our time we're gonna go see this is how we s what we, we see uh let's add some buttons to control the starting the pause and stuff like that i'm gonna go with the phone here 12 it's good let's increase a little bit i'm gonna go in copy and paste here so we see these buttons here. Let's go here, here, and here, and here. It's it's good. Let's see. Yeah, I think it's good. Okay. Let's rename it. I start the first button. Start. Start. The second button is pause. The third button is um reset reset okay okay uh there we go uh, it's everything you need to do uh let me just go here and change this a little bit here okay that's good Th that's good let's just execute so this is our interface so let's uh go with the code let's click the buttons to get the source code okay so now we're gonna use a different class, which I don't think you guys have seen here before, which is a class that is very specific. And let's go with using system system dot diagnostics. Uh, this provides us with a lot of stuff to diagnose our code. That but there is a class very interesting called stopwatch. Let's create a stopwatch. Okay, in the form load, we're gonna initialize that. Okay, so this will make us our life much. Uh, this will make us our life easier. Okay, because just using this, we're gonna be able to do this. So uh, in the button click one, just gonna start the stopwatch. Stopwatch dot start. Okay, we're gonna start that. In the pause, we're gonna pause. So you guys can see stopwatch dot pause. Actually dot stop. And then the the reset. Uh, stopwatch dot reset. Okay, there you go. Uh, now we need to add a a timer. Timer. Let's do that. So you guys know what we need to do is enable this. And okay, we're good to go. Let's go to kit tick. Let's go to this dot. Uh, label one the text is going to be equals let's go now to get the the time so to get that time you guys need to do something here let's go to stopwatch dot elapsed dot to string let's go with this okay just to show you guys what we need to do here let's click start so you guys can see here we're getting a lot of information that's so much information there's a very very n amount of number here so we don't need them so i need to format this so to format this we're gonna go with uh we're gonna we could pass a string that format here there's a overload here you guys can see here just string format we go if we go with <clears throat> let's go with uh this which is HH hours, uh, minutes, uh, seconds, and microseconds. 
let's execute I think that's that would do the trick actually no we we don't <laughs> we don't have that okay we need to make something we need to, to do this differently but that's okay because string dot format will help us in here so string dot format let's pass a, uh, a string okay here as a string let's uh, get the hour <laughs> we're gonna have to format differently uh, this format don't like much but minus uh, okay seconds and microseconds okay and stopwatch dot elapsed okay okay so here I'm gonna go with okay so th this will get us the string okay this is the this is the index of the string which is this one and this is the code we're gonna get we're gonna get the hour minutes seconds and microseconds like the, as it, let's execute and we should, now we should see that okay exactly that so we click pause it's gonna pause we go start it's gonna start again pause and reset and start and pause and reset, okay so this is basically all we need to do to do this you guys can see that's very easy to do this that's one of the reasons that i like c sharp so much it's so easy to do stuff okay so if you guys like this video you guys can hit the, the like button you guys can subscribe uh enable the the notifications that would be very good so thank you guys for watching this video see you guys next time